Uh, so the development centres were an opportunity for us to engage with a group of players that uh, were identified for our in the 16s programme um, and the thought process behind it really was you know we want to educate and upskill and give the players an experience um, that, that firstly you know attaches them to the region um, and like I said also upskills them in, in areas that maybe they don't get um, at club level such as you know nutrition, SNC, um, hydration and then also what gave us the opportunity to do was expose them to, to some rugby coaching with our senior coaches, people like uh, Gordon Ross and, and Simon Cross with Narrowy. Yeah, we've been heading down to Crosskeys College and Newport High School to deliver some strength and conditioning taster sessions to the under 16s group there. Uh, that gives us an opportunity to test and profile our under 16s group. Uh, not only that, but actually allow them to have their first exposure to strength and conditioning, uh, the fundamental movements that we're trying to put in place and the levels of expectation that we might have when it comes to uh, bringing those players into our regional age grade 16s group. My role has basically been to plan and deliver those sessions uh, at the development centres. We've been uh, planning exactly what testing battery we want, we want to, we want to conduct, uh, as well as the, uh, the movement pathway that we're trying to put in place to raise the bar for our under 16s. So when they do come in, um, they have the, the fundamental skills to operate um, on and off the field, uh, which is just going to raise the bar all, all round for, for their rugby included. It was hugely valuable to us as an academy group and also to um, you know the, the players that we were engaging with. Obviously, the, the guys are doing it day in day out uh, for a living, and you know there's there's always opportunities to learn off other people. You know, and, and also you know one thing that we want to do and you know a vision for us in the academy is you know, we want to connect people. Um, clubs to to the region, um, you know. We just hope that you know the opportunities for those extended sort of informal um, sessions through the development centres were were an opportunity to do that with with senior coaches. So we're going to bring both our training groups from our development centres into the training centre here, uh, and then from there we're going to start to expose them to a little bit more intense training, both on and off the field. Uh, we'll also be conducting some uh, off-field learning around what it takes to be a professional athlete, everything from nutrition, uh, video analysis, uh, and their strength and conditioning will all be included in that. It's been brilliant to have some of the senior coaches come down and, and lead on some of the sessions at the development centres with the under-16s. Uh, it's been a great exposure for that for those groups, uh, and, and, and now bringing them in, that they sort of have a taste of what it is to, to, to train uh, with our with our dragons. Really, after the three development centre sessions, they've now started. And the Dragon 16s block, um, you know, as as we've done every year, we, we run an extended squad to ensure that we're keeping the net nice and wide. And you know, we feel you know post COVID, that's that's vitally important. Um, you know, there hasn't been a lot of rugby, you know, due to the pandemic, um, and everybody's all you know still still finding their feet through through community club rugby. Um, you know, um, you know, one of our big things, you know, is just you know ensuring that. People have an opportunity to improve, get better, and hopefully their experience with us in the, in the region um, is, a, is a positive one. So they're into that 16s block, um, and it'll be games uh, in, in April uh, for them to play where you know they can play against the, the other regions and, and sort of showcase uh, what 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 skills they've they've got to, to offer the team.